Check out the views. Where are we? Let's Why are we here? Uh, we made a pit stop because uh, they asked if we wanted to catch some of the awesome views that Florence has to offer. So we're here and uh, we're going to get some pictures. 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 Goosey, why are we here? Stay, Just to suffer. Just to suffer. Why are we here? Vlog or eating? Vlog? Are we on? Yeah. Oh, That's good morning, cool. guys. We are um, getting ready. I don't even know what day it is, but we're going truffle hunting today. I don't know if it's with a dog, if it's with a pig. We're going to find out together. And then we're going to kind of harvest and collect our truffles, prepare them, and use them in a dish. It's all a surprise, so come find out with us together. The truffle hunting van is here. What's up guys, we're going truffle hunting. There's a private car that's gonna drive us. I don't know how long or to where, but we're gonna find out together. First stop is wine and cheese tasting. Check out the awesome scenes. So my name is Arianna and I'm one of the, one of the family members. We are called Patria Corsane Paterno. We make wine, cheese, and olive oil and aziturismo. So okay. I am the wine maker. It's a family-run property. Today we make 100,000 bottles of wine and 100,000 liters of milk. For the wine, we ship worldwide. For the cheese, cheese doesn't travel well. 14 different variations of pecorino cheese. I was born on the property. We were raised here, homeschooled here. So obviously when you're a teenager, you want to run as far away as possible. So I went away and then realized when I was 18 years old that I actually missed the property a lot. No. That's what this is for, there you go. Oh. Are you okay? Oh, Lisa just got smacked. Yeah, yeah. she just like hit me in the eye. Yeah, oh, as I was trying to put my... We'll fix it in post, bro. Yeah, it's still rolling. Drop all the information for the winery and the cheesery, fromagerie, fromagerie. as they call it, um, down below in the description box. So check it out. They do a lot of cool events. Check out the space. It's super cute. See you on our next truffle hunting adventure. We drove another hour through the Tuscany countryside and we've arrived at the truffle hunting activity location. No idea what that means. No idea what kind of animals are going to be helping us, but. So uh, let's go find out. We just met For a us couple is hunting the dog. pup, and he's a, a special breed of dog that specializes in truffle hunting. And how old is truffle? truffle. The name. How old? Hey, Taco. Hi, Chuck. I think I can take this. I think so. You ready? Let's go. Find the big truffle of your life. Yeah. My tour is real. I don't put in the morning the truffle. No. The black summer truffle is very facility fine. In fact, uh, it's very particular because the soil is very dry and uh, the truffle come up because they search the humidity in the night. In fact, it's very important the dog the stop when digging because it's probably uh, break the truffle. When digging, because the truffle, the dog digging and I ask, there is the truffle, the dog look me, okay. I stop, I have in my pockets many biscuits and I dig in. It's a very important, I follow the dog, you follow me. Got it. Because I know when the dog smells the truffle. Our guy, the guy was saying, there's a lot of truffle hunting places that kind of set up hunts for you. So they're rigged in that people go out there, they dig, they bury the truffles and then, oh, you found one. This is not like that. So there's no guarantees today. We're just gonna go and see if we'll find some. No prima no dopo. She said that you need to be really patient with uh, You want when, to look inside? Yes. Yeah. Minutes in and look what they found. Dove? 
What a good boy. We found like so many. I think, um, did you get, I don't know if you got it on camera earlier, but earlier we were talking about how like these are kind of like not the highest end truffles, but they're like summer truffles. And because they're in season, you can collect up to like six kilos a day, right? Yeah. And she said that if she come back here in uh, two hours, mm -hmm. And you might think, oh, the dog is not going to find anything else. But, you find, a, but you find more because maybe at this time there is there are some of the truffles which are not quite ready yet, but they might be in two or three hours. And that's Isn't the that exact crazy? moment yeah. when they release the, the smell. Aroma. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think it's super cool that the window of truffle hunting is yeah. very limited. Yeah, and then you, you have to kind of get right into that window or else you miss it and then it's mm -hmm. done. So if the truffle passes, it's good Mm -mm. Time you just no good. It's gone. Just okay. Yeah, this is truffles are kind of magical. You ha it, it's all about timing and it's luck. All, yeah. yeah, and how good your dog is. <laughs> when it's that little, mm -hmm. it's not worth it to take it. She break it in two and put it back in the soil, mm. okay. so it will regrow in something no. bigger. Nice. We hope. Good job. Where? Where? Until that moment, he couldn't really smell it, and then the, I, I felt when she said I felt the breeze. That was the moment that uh, he smelled the truffle. The chocolate smelled the truffle. It's, it's just super interesting the way with the way they work, but it also makes me think about how like we wouldn't be able to do all this if we didn't have help from other things, right? So in the bigger picture of things, you know, on this trip we've looked at all the different little um, like adventures and family businesses and stuff and see how you kind of require an ecosystem of different people in order to get things to happen. And it goes back to community, it goes back to diversity, it goes back to doing things in a more slow and sustainable way and I think that's a theme that runs common throughout a lot of our adventures here. Hey, we finished travel hunting and now we're going to enjoy more wine and food and food with truffles. So we got a a truffle beverage here. It looks like a clear liquid with truffle pieces floating on top. Let's see what it's like, and we're not supposed to eat this with a spoon. We're supposed to just like sip it. Oh my god! It's like very clear broth with truffle. I approve. So we just got another plate, and it looks amazing. Like a fried egg with some zucchini squash, a shishito pepper, I think, and truffle shavings on top. So good, okay. So it's not overpowering. I think a lot of times with truffle, in my experience, we overdo it and it becomes really overpowering and you get like a little gaggy. Not like that at all, super subtle flavors. It's not too salty, richness from the egg yolk, great um a little bit of texture from the vegetables and then truffle flavor throughout but not mm -hmm. like in your face quite oh subtle gosh. this is the pasta dish that came out um it is okay. super simple egg noodle pasta with truffles on top so let's try them out oh, what a good pull James, you missed a really good noodle bowl. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, it's just very simple, very good. You really taste like egg noodle pasta, and then the truffle that finishes off. Again, not overwhelming. Not like the fake truffle oil that you see get dribbled around, dribbled on top of a lot of dishes in the States. This is delicious. We're ha having an aperitif with the biscotti, and biscotti actually translates to just cookie normally, but this is like the biscotti as Americans know it. And you're supposed to dip it in here. Oh god. Help. Someone catch Lisa. I really like. <laughs> want to appreciate this but as someone who doesn't drink a lot of alcohol it is so freaking strong it's like dipping biscotti into like rubbing alcohol so technically what you're saying what you're saying is you could use this for master elite 
Basically. <laughs> well, elites, elites. Oh, Obviously. I messed it up. But it's pretty close. <laughs> it smells heavy. It's okay. It's, it's 17%. Okay. One, it's love, two, like three, four. Yeah, yeah, I got you. See, Brad, those are seconds. Freedom seconds. That's good. Okay. It tastes good, but it's like it has a thick alcohol burn. Clay just, wants to, Clay just wants to look cool for the camera. Time out here, guys. Oh, no, I don't. Shit, man. If I wouldn't have said anything, I'm ready as fuck, by the way. Oh my god, dude. Never mind. Bye, guys. No, I'm I'm pretty used to rum, and this reminds me of rum. It is kind of rummy, but like on the back end, like on the front end, it's very rough. But as soon as it like, as soon as you bring it down, it's not that bad. It's so weird to see a focus ring or feel a focus ring like work. Four, five. I think this is the first time you do it. Anyways, guys, we're gonna. Uh, bye. I hate how red I am.